Awkward guys to lad and dad and pillow. We're doing our top three female artists. My number three was Beyonce. Yours was, remind me, because it was a while back. Mine was Adele. Adele. Dad's was Adele. My number two was Amy Winehouse. That yeah. I had a f about time. Yeah. Dad has gone like, yep. I right agree out. with you. Right so we're now having your number two. Number two. My number two. It was a tricky one, this one, because she's a member of a band, really. But uh, there's no parameters for there's that. There's no parameters. No. So I'm no. going for Stevie Nicks. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Uh, Stevie Nicks with Lindsay Buckingham there uh, mainstays of Fleetwood Mac obviously just fantastic voice massive amount of uh, backlog of work um, Rumours the album she was a mainstay of that 20 times platinum selling album <laughs> which is probably one of the greatest albums of all time yeah fantastic love her voice like I Knowing people's work, I, I don't know a lot of people's work. Mm. So obviously this I don't know a lot about. Mm. I get confused with Fleetwood Mac who they yeah. are, to be honest. But Stevie Nicks, 
only recently did I know about her. Yeah. Because of American Horror Story. Okay. She was in it. All oh, right. Okay. And she, there's a bit. Obviously, Stevie Nicks. There's a bit in the TV show where she yeah. plays the piano. Yeah. And it was like, why is her voice so familiar? <laughs> Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. Just listening to that, that's the first time I've heard that. Yeah. Well, maybe it isn't. Maybe I've heard it down here. <laughs> but it's the first time I've concentrated yeah. on that. And yes. It's, her voice is just stunning. Yeah, she's got a fantastic voice. But I mean, it's it's the weight of work as well. I mean, yeah, again, I can't. You can't yes, really. No, not, not really your job. For me, yeah. Stuff, well, right? yeah, don't say that. Cause mm. Something called shock you, isn't it? But listening to it, right? Yeah. Sounds similar yeah. to Nancy Griffiths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can For hear me. that in there. There's a definite flavour of that. Yeah. But I mean, if you listen to songs like Gypsy, Rihanna, I could name hundreds. Her voice is fantastic. I would go and see her in concert. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's how I do a lot of stuff. Would I go and sit and pay money and listen to someone yeah. sing? I don't know what the rest of the music like, but I'd imagine it's... Fleetwood Mac was a very strange band because Fleetwood Mac started as an extreme blues band. Extreme blues. their music, I do. And they, they made very, very bluesy albums. Uh, and the main man in the, in the band was Peter Green. Was um, Lindsay Buckingham in it? No, they weren't in it at all. Then. Oh, so Peter Zena. Green was their guitarist and their writer. He um, left the band just as they were starting to get successful. They had a big hit with a, album, a track called Albatross, which was a massive hit, which was a very slow, bluesy song. You must have heard it because of you. And um, the, he left the band. He was the mainstay of the band. And then, I don't quite know how it happened, but... Um, the, the, the remaining members of the band uh, which is Mick Fleetwood and I think a guy called McVie I can't remember his first name went, went to America and linked up with Lindsay Buckingham and Stevie Nicks and then they turned into more of an American style band so in the beginning she wasn't in it not in it so all. if you listen to the music in the beginning there's yeah. no she's not in any of their early is stuff is she the lead singer or do they all sing they, she's the lead singer in the later stuff yeah okay. but there's another girl in the band God. Uh, Christine McVie this who sings female as well a female vocalist as well and she she, they got such a complicated backstory the band they all married each other and went out with each other and there was massive conflict arguments and marital discord in the band it was, it's an amazing story and uh, if you listen to rumours all the songs are to do with them with all these breakups listen to rumours listen to the rumours <laughs> Listen to rumours, then listen to the words, and it's all about them having massive arguments and Jesus. breaking up and splitting up, and it's Get great, it. fantastic stuff. What well, does she have a solo career? Did she yes. have a solo oh, career? She, she has, <laughs> and she still has. <laughs> still has. She still got one. Well, uh, yes, yeah, so she she's was... um, she's made quite a lot of individual. Uh, solo is it records. similar to Fleetwood Mac stuff, or yeah, is it more similar, like that? That sort of style, yeah. She does a lot of that right, sort of thing. Okay. It's great stuff. Some of it from. She, my point of view, the voice mm. stunning. Yeah. So I can't, I can't say she shouldn't be in the yeah. top three. No. You could argue she should be in the top three, but that's another. Well, story. I argued with myself for hours. And me, <laughs> trust me, trust me. But yeah, yeah that's a big okay. A for me. I might even listen to some like Fleetwood Mac yeah. now because it does yeah. confuse me. They got different singers. I could yeah. be listening to them and not know it's Fleetwood. Well, Lindsay Buckingham sings. Ah. Oh. She sings. Lindsay Buckingham's a man. Lindsay Buckingham's a man. Okay, you're not going to see the video because of copyright. And there's also uh, Christine Marie, who sings quite a few of their big hits. Yeah. Who's uh, the only one I know off the top of my head is the Formula One song. Oh, yeah, Chain. Who sings that? Um, that's Lindsay Buckingham. Jeez, even, it's a man. That's why I'm confused. Yeah. And he plays the guitar man. on it, which is a great guitar break. Boom, 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 boom. I've done better than the Halloween, yeah. I forgot them all. Yeah, I worked in one store where the manager, we had a Formula One car put in the in the store. As you do, and he wanted music to play with it, and he said, "I want you to get me the Fleetwood Mac music to go with the Formula One car." So I said, "Okay, no problem. I can get that." He said, "If you can get it on a, a tape or I know the time of tape. tape might have been tape or sorry, disc. kids tape." But he said, "I want Albatross," and I said, "No, I don't think you want Albatross." He says, "Yes, yes," he said. That goes with Formula One cars, Albatross. And I thought, well, I know it's, I know he was wrong, but I did it anyway, obviously. 
uh, I did two. I did the one with the right song, and I did the one with the the uh, it's albatross. Albatross song. is the slowest song you can ever imagine in the world. It's like <laughs> dun, dun. It's really slow, quiet song. Instrumental. I knew he didn't want oh. that. So I, I did the chain as well, which is the one that everybody's associated with. They say was in that, or was that a BBC no, thing? That was a BBC thing. Sky didn't even take it? No. It still is Formula One, though. Every time I hear it, I think of Formula One. Why would the Sky it's only take half the that, song then? as well, because it's actually the yeah. bit they play is only the instrumental break. I wonder why Sky didn't take that. I don't know. To be unique. Yeah, I don't know. To be unique and overcharge yeah. people's Sky. But have a listen to Albatross and put that with a Formula One car. It just doesn't work. Jeez. Number two, then. Stevie Nicks, yeah, no arguments, no eyes, well, yeah. Join us on the next video where we hit us with our number ones and disagreements. <laughs>